Hello guys and welcome. Today we are going to talk about the latest features of Horn Neolis revealed in the third beta software update. Huawei Mate 40 series, Huawei Foldable Phone Mate X2, V40, Mate 30 and other Huawei devices are receiving new Horn Neolis 2.0 developer beta software update. So far, this update has been one of the most interesting software revealed in the entire Harmony OS beta activity because of the new changes it brings in the user interface. These new additions easily reflect on the quick settings, notification panel, settings menu, after art, system animations, as well as other parts of the Harmony OS software. Since it's our first look at the new improvements made to the Harmony OS, we thought that you should know all the information on these new features that comes with the latest beta version of the Harmony OS software. First come to the boot animation. Previous boots of the Harmony OS has a black boot screen, but with the recent beta build, Huawei has installed a new boot animation that shows Harmony OS text logo and looks way better than the part by Android system startup screen. When you first boot up the Harmony OS, you'll see new subtle changes in the home screen elements, including icons, widgets, app drawer screen, drawer animation effects, drawer sliders and more. Now let's talk about the new card system. Compared to the MUI 11, Harmony OS brings new card UI design that has a more clear appearance. While those round corners makes it more intriguing to the consumers and increases the menu elements visibility in the settings menu. Aside from settings, this new card design also has been seen on the Quick Settings panel, Huawei Assistant app, and other system applications. Next comes the new resizable widgets. The widget system in Harmony OS has something new to show. This includes the new resizable capabilities of making the widgets big and small depending on the space on your phone's home screen. Let's talk about the new app transitions. The app now has new transition effects for opening and sending them to the background as it feels more smoother compared to the last MUI version. One of the most interesting features of the Harmony OS's latest beta build is the new app icon gestures. Users can now, you can now swipe from any app to open quick access info of that particular app. Users will then be allowed to pin that app widget on a home screen and get information from that app on the go. Meanwhile, there is no major changes or improvements have been noted in the layout of the camera app. One of the biggest changes comes in the form of the new quick settings panel in the Harmony OS that now has a new design and better layout system. In my view, it looks marvelous compared to the MUI 11. From the design side, the quick settings panel icons has minor changes in terms of their appearance, but the entire quick settings now got sections of priority buys shortcut switches. For instance, the top section includes music controller, followed by Bluetooth and Wi-Fi switches. Below the top section comes the quick access switches that could expand once the user hold and scroll downwards. There is also the Smart Device Control Center 
that keeps a check on your connected smart devices and allows you to manage them from one place. Lastly, the new design of Huawei Assistant is something that we have already discussed. To be recalled, it is the first indicator of the new changes that are about to come with Harmony OS, landed weeks ago on the EMUI part of smartphones. The most notable feature of the Harmony OS includes the new car design, and it first appeared in the recent redesign of the car system in Huawei Assistant app. Currently, the Harmony OS is still in beta phase which means this software is still under development for the general consumers and may take a month or two to roll out as a stable version. We are expecting to get more insights and revealing on Harmony OS and we'll keep you posted on this matter. Until then, be connected. If you like this video, then press the like button, comment below, or press the bell icon to get notified on our latest video. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and join our Telegram channel for the fastest notification on the latest news. And don't forget to visit huawecentral.com.